Hello everybody and welcome again to another lecture, another short lecture, short video of uh, MySQL. Um, we'll look at views in MySQL and we'll revisit joins. Um, a view is nothing but a virtual table. It's uh, created by uh, joining one or more tables and we use a select statement for that. And then um, to your select statement you can filter data by using a where statement, you can order by etc. Uh, join uh, the a view is it grabs the data from the tables, so it, it it doesn't have data in itself. I mean, it's a view. It's a virtual table. It grabs data from from other tables, and it's useful because you can hide the table names from uh, end users, etc. And the script for a view is very simple. You can just uh, type create view. Uh, that's if you are not using Workbench. With Workbench, it's even simpler. You can just right click and then create a view. And we're going to look at that in a minute. Uh, and then the select statement from where, etc. So let's look at uh, an example. We're going to use uh, Workbench for that. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to list. Uh, list of factors id first name last name that acted in movies when language name is english and then from this list we're going to only show movies that include the word home in the uh, title so the word home in the title and that's what we're going to do so we'll create we'll uh, look at a select statement to create this data and then we'll create it as a view and you see uh, the difference between you know using all the joins in a select statement or just using a view so um if we are just looking at id first name last name all those fields if we look if we look at the sakila and i'm using sakila for that if you look at the actors table and then the columns you have actor id first name last name so if we were just uh if we just need this then we just do a select statement on this table and that's it however now that we need language the movies that has a language name english we have to find out where the language uh, name exists in which table and we see here that uh, actor is not linked to any language table as you can see there is no language id there is no language name so uh, if, but if we keep uh, drilling down we see that uh, actor is linked to another table called film actor and this in uh, you know where the actor id is linked to a film id and you're gonna see in a minute why i'm going down to this table because from this table we can jump to a film you know table that has a film id and this is the first time in that drill down where we see a language id but up to this point we still don't see language name so we need to drill further down in another table called language and that's the one that has the name so we need to create three joins because we have four tables remember that joins is uh, n minus one number of tables four which is actor film actor film and then language and then the joins they're going to be three so let's go ahead and start creating our joins so we're going to do a select <coughs> in the beginning i'm just going to do an asterisk for all the columns sorry and from so we said the tables is going to be actor and as you can see when i type act i have the tables or views that start with that uh that uh three letters i'm going to use the actor table and then the second one will be film actor film actor and as you can see i have a table film actor this one here and then then drill down to film table which is this one and then finally a language table which is this one here i of course i can use alias like you know when you use a uh, language l for example for alias or something on that way you know when you're using uh, the joins it makes it easier for you <coughs> but i'm not going to use them for this example and then here uh, i have four tables so i need four joins my first one will be actor in the process sometimes i'm going to make some uh, errors in purpose to explain to you why and uh, you know um, why i got that error and how to fix it so here when i type actor so i need i need to link the actor id in actor table to an actor id in the film table so if i um, if i pick this one right and then uh, i link it to uh, an actor id actor id this one here the um, mysql is going to get confused because this 
this column exists in two tables it's not going to know what it's coming from and it's going to give me an error if i were to run this one for example and i only had these two tables without these two i'm going to get an error ambiguous column because i need to specify whenever you have a column that exists in more than one table you need to specify what it's coming from so in this case i need to specify that this one is coming from the actor table um, actor that actor t actor id link into film that actor id okay so the the column as you can see in the film so if i were to take this one out and stuff from the beginning film that uh, and then actor id in the uh, table actor id column in the film table and now i need to link film uh, matter of fact this one is a film actor i'm sorry film actor actor id and then <coughs> excuse me film actor which is this table here is going to be the film id film id is going to link to a film film id again here i have uh, uh, the film table and the film id exists in two tables so i need to specify where it's coming from when i when i don't have uh, when I don't have that, meaning, you know, the column only exists in one table, then I don't have to specify the table name. And <clears throat> now I need to link film, which is this one, film to language. So I linked actor to film, I linked uh, actor to film actor, <coughs> excuse me, and then I linked film actor to film. Now I need to link film to language. So I'm going to put film that and the, the primary foreign key in this case is a language ID. So if I type language ID from film, it's going to be linking to language, language ID, language table, that language ID. And that's how you create the joints, right? Between the, so uh, one, two, three, four tables, three joints, N minus one. And then if I want to add an, an order by, I can do that. Order by, and I can order by uh, actor ID. So notice here, if I put uh, actor ID and then I run my query, I'm going to get an error, right? See, uh, order ID ambiguous. Why is it ambiguous? Because actor ID, actor ID exists in more than one table. So when in my order ID or here in the joins or anywhere else, even in the select statement, I need to specify where the actor ID is coming from because it exists in more than one table. So what I will do is do actor that actor ID and then it should run now. <coughs> and as you can see now, I uh, was able to run my query and I have an order by uh, actor ID. So it goes by actor first. Okay, so now I have this one with a lot of joins in it, and I don't want to, every time I want to use uh, something from these tables to run those joins, what I can do is create it as a view. So what I will do is copy this one, right? And uh, let's let's make it shorter. Let's do this. <coughs> actor that, actor ID, all right? And just so to make it, more simpler and then i'm gonna do the actor see here i can just put first name right first name why because first name only exists in one table i don't have to specify the table name and then last name same thing last name from this table and then uh, what i need is since later on we said we said here that later on we're gonna need the title and we also but before that we're gonna need the language id and language uh, uh, name so i put title and title exists only in one place however language id i'm going to bring it from the language table so language table that language id since that one exists in <coughs> more than one more than one table language id and then name uh, only exists in one table so i don't need to specify the table name so let me run this query just to make sure that you don't have any errors in it. And as you can see now, I only have the ID, first name, last name, the title, language ID, and name. And if you uh, filter by language ID, you see that all those movies uh, are in English. So we don't have in this database, we don't have any other uh, movies. Uh, we don't have movies with other language but English. So now I'm going to go ahead and create this one as a view. So what I will do, I will copy. Uh, you can use a statement 
uh, create a view as and then type that or you can use the uh, shortcut here in, um, in in workbench you can go to views click on it right click create a view and then that statement will be typed for you automatically you don't have to type it and then you just paste you can add your semicolon here and then apply if there are any errors it's gonna uh, the system is gonna tell us here you can type uh, uh, actor actor language right and then that's gonna be the name of our view apply okay and you can review that apply and it was created successfully no errors finish now we can go to uh, refresh our list here and then you can see in the list of views that we have actor view should be somewhere here actor language which is this one right now if we want to use it right if we want to use this view we, I can use a select statement right select from and uh, actor language select from actor language and then let me run my query it looks like there is an error an error in your second select oh yes of course sorry Oop. all right as you can see I have now uh, the list of the actors with the language ID and language name but it says here that we only want to show movies that have the word home somewhere in the title so if you can see the title here some of the movies they have the word home you know somewhere in the title uh, H O M E you know so we're gonna see if that's uh, true or not so what we will do is select from language title where so from our view uh, we hide all those joins that are all that craziness we we hide it we hit that and then we use a where statement where title and for this to work title has to be in the select statement in the view okay so title uh, since we a home can be anywhere so we're gonna use the wildcard like and then I'm gonna open open the parentheses, single quote and then uh, the percent I'm using it at the beginning at the beginning and at the end because we it doesn't matter where home is uh, in the title uh, as long as there is a home the word home somewhere in the title I want that return so if I run my query as you can see breaking home home word cider breaking home etc so if i want home to be only at the beginning of the word if i only return you know movies where the home is at the beginning so i run my query and then now only when there is home at the beginning vice versa if i want the end i take that so uh, in this video we looked at views we looked at joins we also looked at wildcard like uh, with the you know word what it, whether it's at the beginning and etc i hope that was um useful helpful if you have any questions please let me know thank you for watching have a wonderful day